Have you ever wondered what makes a frog, a toad, or a salamander special? Well, let's dive into their fascinating world and find out. You see, these remarkable creatures are all part of a group called amphibians. Now you might be thinking, what's an amphibian, right? In the simplest of terms, amphibians are a group of cold-blooded animals that have an incredible superpower. They can live both on land and in water, just like a superhero with a dual identity. Imagine, one moment you're basking under the sun, and the next, you're taking a cool dip in a pond. That's the life of an amphibian. They're not just ordinary animals, they're extraordinary, with the ability to adapt and thrive in different environments. So next time you see a frog hopping or a salamander crawling, remember they are amphibians, living both on land and in water. Did you know that a frog wasn't always a frog? That's right! Every amphibian, like our friend the frog, starts life in a very different form. Let's dive in and discover the fascinating journey they take from being tiny eggs to becoming fully grown adults. First off, a mummy frog lays a bunch of tiny jelly-like eggs in water. These eggs are so small they could fit on the tip of your pinky finger. And inside each one, there's a tiny creature growing, which we call a tadpole. Now tadpoles are pretty interesting. They don't look much like frogs at all. In fact, they look more like little fish, with round bodies and long tails. They don't have legs or arms, and they breathe through gills, just like fish do. But, don't be fooled. These little critters are about to go through some amazing changes. This process of change is called metamorphosis. It's a big word, but it's just a fancy way of saying that something is changing from one thing into another. As the tadpole grows, it starts to develop legs. First it grows its back legs, which are like little stubs. Then, it grows its front legs. As this happens, its tail begins to shrink. It's almost like the tadpole is playing a game of hide-and-seek with its tail. At the same time, the tadpole starts to develop lungs so it can breathe air, just like we do. And slowly but surely, our little tadpole starts to look less like a fish, and more like a frog. Finally, when the tadpole is all grown up, it hops out of the water as a fully grown frog. It can now breathe air, jump high, and catch bugs with its long, sticky tongue. Remember, every frog you see hopping around started life as a tiny tadpole in the water. Isn't that amazing? So, that little tadpole in the pond could one day become a big hopping frog. There are many different types of amphibians, not just frogs and toads. You might be surprised to know that the world of amphibians is full of interesting creatures. Let's meet the salamanders. These cool creatures can be found in various sizes and colors. Some are as small as your little finger while others can grow as long as a yardstick. And guess what? They have the amazing ability to regrow their lost body parts. How cool is that? Now, let's visit the newts. Newts are kind of like the cousins of salamanders. They're usually smaller and have rougher skin. And just like salamanders, they too can regrow their lost body parts. There's also a group called Sicilians. These are the most mysterious of all amphibians. They look like big shiny worms and mostly live underground. So, frogs and toads have many other friends like salamanders and newts in the amphibian family. Amphibians are not only interesting, but also have some cool tricks. Did you know that some frogs can change color? Yes, that's right. Just like a chameleon, certain types of frogs can change their skin color to blend in with their surroundings, making it easier for them to hide from predators. Now how about salamanders? These slick creatures have a superpower too. If a salamander loses its tail, it can simply grow a new one. Imagine if humans could do that. Here's another fun fact. Did you know that the smallest frog in the world is so tiny, you could fit 10 of them on your fingernail? That's right, the Pedophryne amoensis, found in Papua New Guinea, is the tiniest frog, and it's almost invisible to the naked eye. Remember, amphibians are not just cool, they are also very important for our environment,